whole thing is about being fearless. <laughs> and right off the bat, she goes to lift the pan. She goes, I'm afraid. They're like toasted, right? They're toasted. She's yeah. almost trying a little too hard yeah. to, to prove that she is fearless. I was a bug girl when I was growing up. I actually had a bug box. She talked to the camera like she was on a first date with it. It really is like a cheese puff. We cannot underestimate the appeal of the girl next door with yep. her. I'm Bert Kreischer, and you're watching Travel Channel Star. I'm here with our expert judges, and they're gonna decide who goes to the third and final round. We took our five semifinalists, and we sent out an experienced film crew to help these guys create a story focused on their unique travel perspective, and that brings us to Janelle Koloski, one of my personal favorites, quite honestly. She said she was fearless, but she defined fearless by salsa dancing and eating sushi in Pittsburgh. <laughs> that doesn't even break the scale of the top thousand crazy fearless things on our network. So we decided to put her to the test. We we're about to find out if Janelle is truly fearless. Guys, Janelle Koloski. Hey, I'm Janelle Kowalski, and today we're in Philadelphia. There's a Maniunk bike race going on right now. We're in the Maniunk uh, neighborhood of Philadelphia. Hey, I'm Janelle, and today we're in Philly, and you guys think I'm about Irish dancing and cactus tacos, but I said I was fearless, and I'm gonna prove it. I'm totally gonna bug out today. We're going to the Insectarium, a bug museum. I'm gonna pet tarantulas and cockroaches, and I'm gonna try cricket taco at the Taqueria Feliz. You don't even know. I saw the, was it the cricket taco? Tacos de Chapulín, yeah, cricket tacos. Do you show me how we make this? Yeah, so I'm so excited. So these uh, come from a farm in Mexico. They're like toasted, right? They're toasted, They're yeah, a little blended oil. A little bit Sprinkle of salt. Sprinkle a little salt. Can I flip it? Can I try? Go for it, try it. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, I'm afraid. You've got crispy crickets. I'm so excited. It's really salty. A little spicy, crunchy for sure. Oh. It's really good. Hi. Hi. I'm Dave. I'm Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Good Hi. to meet you. Good to meet you too. Come on over here to our honeybee colony. Here we go. Of course. Are you gonna wear one? Maybe. Oh, I... You don't yet. I've learned you really don't need it because bees are nice guys or nice girls. I mean, but. Yeah, this beehive has been here for three years, and the bees actually have a tube that goes to the outside, and they go out and um, you know go to flowers and get pollen and come back and pollinate this hive. And it's so fascinating. These are all female bees. Um, how many bees would you say you have? A bunch. So Dave, what do you do if a bee, a bee stings you? What's what? How do you? Well, get first, they're not going to sting you unless you get them mad at you for some reason. I've been stung by a bee once. Uh, it was on my knuckle. It just landed there, and then I looked, I moved maybe too suddenly, and he stung me, and I was like, ah! She stung you. Ah, oh, yes, it's a girl. That's, see, only girls have stingers. Only girls have stingers. Makes sense. I totally get it. <laughs> so, uh, so, Rob, what do you think? What do I, it's funny, the whole thing is about being fearless. <laughs> And right off the bat, she goes to lift the pan. She goes, I'm afraid. She puts out this like powerful female vibe like that. Like, hey. What? What do Initially you, she does. Do you buy it? Well, n not as you keep watching her. No, she's got this fun, useful, playful energy about her. But I think a lot of it is a little bit of, of nervous energy. I'm still not convinced she's fearless. But I find her very charming mm -hmm. and relatable. Um, and I think that's important. Um, she needs to tone down the arm movements. Those little kind of, those kind of, come on, those things bug me just a little bit. Bug, bug me. Um, uh, but uh. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I found her very charming. I did. We're not done with Janelle. She's got another five minutes. Let's see more. I think, I think you'll be shocked. And I okay. think she does show us a fearless side. What is the difference between um, a moth and a butterfly? Uh, uh, probably the color. The color. And also the <laughs> way the antenna is shaped. I'll be right back in just a second because what I I, I have here. Is, he's an expert, right? Yeah, we have a snack. So, so these are cheese flavored baked mealworms. I never thought I'd be eating mealworms. Well, most people who come and eat a mealworm never forget it. It's it's one of those <laughs> one of those parts of your life where it it just needs to be done. Who's this guy? This is my friend Rosie. Hi, Rosie. You see right here, there are two fangs. Yes. She'll use those fangs to hit her prey with a paralyzing agent. Oh, very cool. She, she then comes back 
and she grabs a soda straw, shoves it through the exoskeleton of her prey, and oh. sucks out the juices inside. As I was about to leave the insectarium, they brought out these mealworms. And I was like, oh, they're adorable. They're like, dee, dee, dee. they're really cute. I'm going to eat this. Are you? No. <laughs> Question. Go ahead. Oh, geez, look at it. Look at it wiggle. Nice crawling on me. Uh, get in there. <laughs> like, no! I'm going to eat this. Ready? It does have an earthy flavor. <laughs> when you bite into it, it's very juicy. I just felt his insides just squirt everywhere. All in my mouth. After sampling grasshopper tacos and going to the insectarium, I'm not going to ever step on a bug again. I'm going to say, thank you. Hey, Bert. I know I have crooked teeth. <laughs> my hair is always a mess. And Anna, I know. Cactus tacos, not fearless. I totally get it, guys. But from what you've seen today, I think it's pretty clear that I've stepped up my game. I ate a live mealworm. Would you do that? Would you guys do that? I don't know. And I guarantee it, if I move on to the next round, it's gonna get even better, even more fearless. You don't even know. <laughs> I think we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start off with some pros. When she doesn't know that they're filming her. She is so much fun to watch. She, her hair is adorably all over the place. I mean, her hair is another character in it, just flipping it over here, tugging behind the ear, pulled over here, sweeps over here. Um, Anna, what are your thoughts? She is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool of you to say that. That's so cool of you to say yeah, that. Yeah, cool. cool. Show of hands, very quickly. Who would eat that bug? If I were in her position yes. and I uh, claimed it, I was fearless. Absolutely, I would eat the bug. I would eat that if bug. you yeah. asked me to eat the bug here, no. But if I was trying out for Travel Channel Star, I'd eat the bug. I'd eat it right now. I was impressed that she ate the bug yeah. at the end. Yeah. And, and, and I'll be honest with you. The pregnant pause when she had it in her mouth and was chewing it and was figuring out what it tasted like yeah, that was, was engaging. I love that she played with the bug before I she I love that it crawled out of her mouth. I know, that was really that's, fun. That's stuff that you, not everyone that's will cool. do. We cannot underestimate the appeal of the girl next door with yep. her. You cannot, people love it. Stay with Travel Channel all summer long and check in on TravelChannel.com and all our social media outlets for updates. We'll be crisscrossing the country with our contestants as they compete to be the first Travel Channel star. Then watch our one hour special on September 7th at 8 p.m. to find out who becomes the first ever Travel Channel star.